This video provides helpful tips for extending the life of your HP notebook battery. Not all notebook batteries are created equally. Some are made to hold more power and hold it for longer than others. However, there are steps you can take to extend the life of HP notebook batteries. The biggest factors that influence how long notebook battery power will last are the software and hardware you use, the power settings on your PC, and how you take care of the battery. When running a notebook on battery power, less is more. The fewer applications, processes, and hardware you use, the less power your computer needs to operate. The types of software and hardware running on your notebook also impact how much battery power is used. Every application uses memory and power, even when the application window is minimized. Close any open programs you are not using. Audio and video typically use more power, so they will use up your battery faster than many other applications. Virus scans also use a lot of your computer's resources and power. Stop or postpone virus scans to drain less power from the battery. Reduce the brightness of the screen to minimum readable level. The backlight of your screen can take a lot of power and significantly reduce how long your battery will last. To change your screen brightness, press appropriate function key. Anything you plug into your computer, such as external drives, media players, phones, and other peripheral devices, draw power from the battery even when they are not being used. Disconnect any devices you are not using. If you do not need to connect to a wireless network or Bluetooth device, turn off those features. Even if you aren't using them, they continue to scan for networks and devices, which uses processing power and consumes battery life. If the wireless on-off button on your notebook is turned on, press the button to turn it off. In Windows 7, you can change the power usage settings to manage how your computer performs whether it is plugged in or running on battery power. To change the Windows Power options, click Start, and then click Control Panel. Select Hardware and Sound. Click Power Options. In the Select a Power Plan window, click the power option you wish to use. There are preset options. HP recommends the Balanced option. It offers full performance when you need it and saves power when you aren't using it. Power Saver uses the least of the three options and will make the battery last the longest. It saves power by reducing system performance and screen brightness. Some computers also have a high performance setting which consumes the most battery power. It maximizes computer performance and screen brightness. You can also customize the plan you select, managing the power usage of more specific features on your computer. Click Change Plan Settings. You can select how long before the display turns off and how long it takes for the computer to automatically go to sleep when not in use. If you wish to change other settings, click Change Advanced Power Settings. From the drop-down menu, select the power plan you are modifying and click the setting you wish to change. For example, you can change the desktop background settings. Click OK when you are done. If you take proper care of your notebook battery, it will last longer and perform better. One way to take care of your battery is to run a battery check once a month. To perform a battery check, make sure the notebook is plugged in. Click Start. Type HP Support into the search box. Select HP Support Assistant from the results. Click Troubleshoot. Select Power, Thermal, 
and mechanical. Click Battery Check. HP Support Assistant checks your battery and then tells you the results of what it found. Follow any on-screen instructions. If you frequently switch between battery power and being plugged in, the battery may lose its ability to accurately gauge its true charge capacity. Calibrating the battery is a way to reset the battery power gauge and ensure the battery recharges completely. HP recommends that you calibrate your notebook battery every one to three months. During a calibration cycle, the battery must be completely charged and then completely discharged. With the power adapter connected to the notebook, allow the battery to charge until the battery charge light turns off. After the battery has fully charged, you need to drain the battery completely. To make the battery lose charge quickly, disconnect the power adapter and then change the power options to make the notebook consume a lot of power. Click Start. Then Control Panel. Select Hardware and Sound. Click Power Options. Then select Create a Power Plan. To change the plan name, type Calibrate into the plan name box. In the On Battery column, select Never for all items. Click Create to submit your changes and force the battery to consistently discharge. Use the notebook as you normally would, allowing the battery to discharge completely until the notebook shuts down from lack of battery power. The battery is now calibrated. Reconnect the power plug and restart the computer. Since you changed the power settings to drain the battery, don't forget to change your power plan back to your desired settings. If your notebook will be plugged into AC power continuously for more than two weeks, or if you don't plan to use the notebook for more than two weeks, remove the battery from the notebook and store it in a safe place with a moderate temperature. Before storing the battery, make sure it is charged at least 40 to 60 percent of full capacity. Batteries should be stored in temperatures between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius or 68 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not leave batteries in high temperatures, for example, inside a hot car, for extended periods of time. Thank you for viewing this video. For more help, go to hp.com forward slash support.